Wildlife biologists from the Michigan Department of Natural Resources recently invited some reporters, research students, and neighbors to this spot in Oceana County. An 11-year-old black bear made his den under a pile of fallen trees about a quarter of a mile from here. Biologists have been tracking him since 2010, and today they hope to replace his radio collar. Black bears have been expanding their range in Michigan, moving south where they're more likely to run into people. Uh, We also have bears that end up in Grand Rapids, in Flint, uh, in Lansing, in in southern Michigan. Uh, People aren't so accepting of black bears. They're generally fearful. Um, these, aren't a, these aren't a species to be feared, they're a species to be respected. So we're using this also to educate the public. Bears are not true hibernators. Their bodies don't completely shut down for the winter. So the warmer weather means bears can be more active. And today, this bear is awake. Four of us are going to go down there. He's very alert. Um, he got up on his front legs there a couple times while we were looking at him. Um, We're going to make a judgment call when we get down there. We're probably going to try to dart him as opposed to use a jab stick. Um, It's okay if people stand up top, if if you all want to, you know, look from above. The researchers will approach the den while we sit safely above and use a pneumatic dart gun to tranquilize the bear. You always have to get excited when you're doing this kind of work, right? Yeah. I I don't think this ever really gets that old. You see that hump down there? Snow on top of it. His that's his den. He's dug into the other side of that. They're gonna be coming down through the up this little trail, through that valley, and come up and go and face the opening of the den. They're gonna come in and access, you know, dart him from the opening of the den. The darts work and we're given the green light to approach the den. Okay, we can go around. The landowner here has no idea that a bear was hibernating on his property. Researchers say it's rare to see them. They travel at night, and they know how to avoid contact with humans. There are around 12 to 15,000 bears in Michigan. And with this project, researchers hope to understand how bears are expanding their range. Does it? It smells like ammonia. I think one of our guys pees down there. Did you pull this up now? Oh, uh, leave me. I can get pictures. Now, yeah, pull darts. If you can get to them, pull them. Grab some. What's that? Grab some can rope. you pull darts, sir? Do you want me to? Yeah, pull darts. This bear will be out for about one to three hours. It gives the researchers plenty of time to do their work. Wait until they get in position. Oh, <gasps> Dwayne Etter says he's looking forward to taking a look at the data he'll download from this collar. It'll give him detailed information about where this bear was. The collars the researchers use are designed to come off over time. The next step is to get his weight, which is not all that easy out here in the woods. Their scale didn't work on this run, but their best guess is that this bear weighs around 300 pounds. It's not every day that people get this close to a black bear, so a few photos are taken. There's a picture. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm not sure he likes, he likes his picture, too. <laughs> the work is done, so it's time to slide the bear back into his den. It's been a good day for these researchers. This bear stayed put as they approached. Sometimes if it's warm enough, a bear will run away from the researchers. And when that happens, the whole day is shot. You gonna situate him, Dan? Yeah. 
how do they like to be lying? Well, we want them because he's still under the drug. We want him lying so his airway and nose are clear. We don't want his nose stuck in the mud or in the snow or dirt. So that's just about right. His head's up and his neck is stretched out so his airway's clear. Yeah, I mean, from their experience, this bear is a late sleeper. The drug will wear off over the next couple of hours. But they don't expect him to wake up from his winter's nap until around mid-April. That's when researchers will be able to follow just how far and where this bear travels. I'm Mark Brush, Michigan Radio News.